From Holy Cross to UNLV. A quarterback who was promised something verbally but didn't receive it. Let's talk about it a little bit. I know I'm late, but uh, man, it's been a lot going on. All right, there's been a lot going on. But before I talk about it, I don't want to just be the, the the first one or the second one or the third. I want to you know do my research, watch you know watch things on it, see how things are panning out before I speak about it. And um, <clears throat> the Matthew Sluka situation is kind of intriguing to me. You know, this guy who was at Holy Cross. Left Holy Cross, went to UNLV, had the UNLV team 3-0, and right? And all of a sudden, he just decided to, uh, you know what, yeah, I'm, I'm done, I'm sitting out. You know, so at first we was all confused on why he would do such a thing, but then you, find, you, you, you finally figure out why he done it. Apparently, Matthew Stuka was promised X amount of dollars, 100000 to be exact. You know, he came, he came to school there. And, you know, um... I had a few questions to ask, and one of them was, "Is he worth a hundred thousand?" And you go looking around, like, "Okay, yeah, you know what? The guys in the SEC getting paid. He guys getting five hundred thousand a little bit, uh, five hundred thousand to more." Okay, you go to the guys in the you know ACC. He ran like three, three hundred. Okay, yeah, cool. You go to people in the Sun Belt, mm, about a hundred thousand. So. UNLV hundred thousand dollars at UNLV. I think that's I, I think that's reasonable. I think that's really reasonable. All right, but then it ain't just that. Let's look at this play. So Matthew Sluka, twenty twenty, COVID year, couldn't really do anything, but played four games, started in two of them, went one and one. So th- in 2013, 2021, he played in thirteen games, started all thirteen of them. 10 and 3 record, okay? Completion rate of 56.3%. He threw for 1,495 yards and 11 TDs and only 5 interceptions. Same year, he rushed for 868 yards with 14 TDs. Has a knack for the end zone. 2022, once again, 13 games played, started out 13. Took Holy Cross to a 12 and 1 record, okay? Was 57.5% passing. 2,491 passing yards, increased his passing yards by almost a, by almost a thousand, missing it by four, 900 yards. 26 passing TDs. Hear me out. 26 passing TDs, right? Only four interceptions. Ran for 1,234 yards and 11 touchdowns. He threw for 2,000, ran for 1,000. That is impressive. That is really, really, really impressive, okay? And only threw four interceptions. While throwing the ball more than he did the year before. The year before, he only threw the ball 208 times. The following year, he threw the ball 266 times. That's good. Then you go to 2023, he only played in 11 games. Started in nine, went five and four, sixty-one percent completion rate, one thousand seven hundred and twenty-three yards, twenty TDs, five interceptions, one thousand two hundred and forty-three rushing yards, nine touchdowns. All right, so then you jump in the portal. No, you got a few schools out there, but UNLV say guy come around. I'm guessing one of those booster guys, maybe come around and say, "Hey man, I give you hundred thousand dollars to commit to UNLV." So what do you go and do? I'm taking your word. I'm committing to UNLV. So he does. And while at UNLV, played in all three games, started all three games, 21 of 48, he's 43.8%, 318 passing yards, 6 TDs, 1 interception, 39 rushing attempts for 253 uh, rushing yards and 1 TD. Okay. He, has one in the, he had 1 interception. He had 6 touchdowns in 3 games. And one TD rushing. All right. So, question I gotta ask myself is a hundred thousand dollars too much for a quarterback? To me, I think he's well worth it. I mean, yeah, he's 
not going to blow your mind by passing for four or 5,000 yards, but he's a dual threat on the ground also. I mean, he's a threat on the ground also. Threw for 1,000, can run for 1,000, can throw for 2,500, can run for 1,200. I mean, he can touch down either way you want. And now this is UNLV squad who was looking pretty darn good. I mean, Barry Odom got them looking real nice. Got the quarterback having them looking real nice. I mean, I think UNLV could have easily gave this guy $100,000. Easily. You know, should you stop playing ball because um, you didn't, you, you got money, you got, you didn't get money that you was promised? Yeah. You should because I committed to you on your word. You know, and if you, besides the point, go, don't even, you know, you look past the whole money situation on NIL. You just go by, man, you promised me something and you didn't stand on your word as a man you're supposed to. Maybe he's looking at it that way. I know he's not because why? This game has became um, all about money. It's all about money in, in, in college. You promise me this, I, I expect this. If I'm, if I'm not getting this, I won't play. I'll red shirt. And that's what Sluka did. Is Sluka wrong for doing it? No, because like I say, you promised this man money. You didn't get the man money. But I can't just put out on UNLV because Sluka should have knew better. If you didn't have this drawn up, if you didn't have this written up in a contract on a piece of paper where it's where you done sign it off with with a pen. Never believe it. Never believe. Never go by word. Have this written in stone. Have this something on the piece of paper saying, yeah, I agreed to pay this guy X amount of dollars to come play UNLV. Absolutely, that's, that's what should happen. So, Matt Sluka, he has, what, maybe another year after this. He redshirted, so he has another year plus the COVID year. So, maybe two more years. So, how I feel about the how I feel about it is, I don't like the simple fact that man, if if you promise to guy something, keep your word. You know, Barry Odom wanted to give him like three thousand dollars to compensate for his move or something like that. Come on, man. The least you can do is pay your quarterback. This is your starting quarterback. I mean, he did look decent. He he had Holy Cross ten and three, twelve and one. Yeah, they fell off the next year five and four, but. He's showing you now, man, I'm 3-0. I can get the job done, 21-48. Like I say, he's not going to blow your mind with passing. But he can do both. He can run the ball and he can pass the ball. So, like I said, I mean, how, where I'm at is, I don't blame it. You know, hey, if you do what's best for you. Because at the end of the day, if them folks didn't hold their end of the bargain up, they ain't going to do right by you. But let's see um, how it plays out for Matt. Because, like, we'll be definitely be tuning to this. When it comes to signing day to see where he may end up and see what other school will want to take a chance on Sluka.